Hi, welcome to my gadget life. Recently I've been exploring Google Glass and the technology that goes behind it. One of my second prototypes is a cheap pair of glasses stuck onto it. Um, got some video glasses or hardware that I ripped off from some video glasses. Um, this is a LCD block put at a certain angle, ribbon cable. On the side is a LCD driver board and the output to um, the computer. Now, my first idea was to use a cubby board, which was fairly small, and it's an all-in-one computer. Installed in it was um, Android OS, which seems to do the trick. Um, the output of which was a HDMI link, which is digital, so I had to convert that with a HDMI to RCA connector. That seemed to do the trick. Um, this isn't ideal because the Wi-Fi I couldn't get to work, so instead I used the Ethernet connector and a mini router. Wi-Fi router connected to that to get the ability to browse and look through my home network. Uh, all this seemed to work fine along with a large uh, emergency USB battery that I use um, but in itself it's fairly bulky and it needed a lot of wiring just to get this sorted out. Um, the interface, I tried a mouse, an optical mouse, which was a bit cumbersome because I had to hold the mouse and I had to use a flat table or some part of my body just to move the cursor. didn't really uh, work too well. Next thing I, I used is this uh, dongle connected to this, which is connected to the cubby board. And mouse pad and keyboard seem to work but again I'm, it felt like I'm holding a, a mobile phone to control the whole thing and the mouth pa mouth, mouse pad wasn't very um, sensitive either so I didn't think that this was the future of inputting your data or whatever and uh, another thing was a gyro mouse. Inside is a gyroscope which um, orientates the cursor whenever you move left, move right, or down. Very similar to um, Wii control, I guess. Exploring a different um, computer at the moment. If I just show you quickly, briefly, this um, smart TV dongle. Now it turns an ordinary TV with a HDMI input into a smart TV because there's a processor linked with normal computer architecture on this small. board and wireless link and this is my mouse dongle so it allows me to quickly navigate through the menu systems fairly easily. The only downside for me now is it has a HDMI link. Again um, I circumnavigated the digital output with a HDMI converter see that this whole thing is now lightweight which is basically what you needed um, in the future design I, I guess what I want to do is to link all that into a really small form maybe put it on the side of uh, the glasses I'm, I'm not sure if this sort of design is going to be uh, 
good, any particularly good, but um, it works uh, with these three units in itself. At the moment, I've connected the HDMI computer, the Android dongle in this lightweight pack. I'll just pull it out. What it is is the emergency battery connected. See this ugly band of wires. What you have is the input for the glasses, which is an analog input connected to the HDMI converter. And from there is connected to the dongle. This large black rectangular thing is the emergency battery which I'm using as a power source to power all three units, the glasses, the uh, video converter and the quad core dongle. Okay, this is the actual display of the uh, Android dongle, you can see the um, desktop feature has the temperature and um, bookmarks for the internet. I could go into any of these. Um, so downloads, email, explorer, any of these I could pull up and um, do my work. I have Skype, it hasn't fully worked on this system yet, and I have Firefox here to browse the internet as well. well the video works fairly well, i just pull up something, see that, quite responsive. Right-click to get out. Right-click to go back to the home. Uh, I can play some music. Seems to work fine. Exploring the whole venture of uh, Google Glass Alternative has been enjoyable at the moment. The desktop is a little too busy for my liking reading scripts in the corner of your eye just like this is very very hard because uh, I've got the font smaller than my eye can actually read so I have to zoom in a lot with, um, with reading uh, a lot of scripts or browsing through the internet and I find out I'm, I'm doing that very often with this equipment here. Also, um, maybe it's my short sightedness, my glasses on, even with them on or off. Um, I'm finding out that uh, the corners of the screen uh, are as sharp or clear to me as the sense of the screen. Something I have to work on, I guess. All in all, uh, the basic design of my wearable computer works fairly well. With some minor adjustments, I can actually perfect this, maybe have this very small and just have it as a pair of smart glasses with an additional uh, mouse control via a gyroscopic mechanism to allow me to explore the internet while walking. This is my gadget life and you're welcome to it. <laughs>